Hey, what's up, Obscure Mike people? Bart coming at you yet again with some more RGB goodness. The Anchor PowerCast M300, a microphone you can grab for $42.99 right now as of this date, February 10th, 2022, on Amazon, link down below. Now, before I get fully into this video, I want to invite you to also check out my Bark channel. It's just capital B-A-R-K, capital A, capital R, capital K, Bark in big bold letters. I'm doing some really stupid, crazy shit over there. So come check that out. That's all I've got as far as self-promotion goes. Let's talk about this microphone and check out a little uh, simple unboxing video that I did on the Bark channel. I'll just integrate that into this and show you what all comes with the PowerCast M300 right now. All right, let's unbox what Anchor sent over. It's the PowerCast M300. USB condenser microphone. Plastic enclosure. See the shock mount there. I should turn that over. Hmm. There's the package. Got a base. Fairly good heft, 5H threading on it. We've got a USB A to C and a USB C to C. We've got the microphone itself. It's got a like a half yoke mount. Body is metal on the bottom. So metal. But then this is plastic, I believe. Yeah, plastic, metal. The yoke mount is metal. I like that. And we've got to the bottom here, we've got USB C. We've got an RGB light button, <clears throat> headphone jack, which I hope is for latency-free monitoring, not computer playback. Got the end there, the grill, a mute button. That's a big, okay, mute slash volume for the mic and headphone out. So I imagine the gain determines your... Um, headphone out level two okay maybe we do need to see what the rgb is all about let's let's plug that in real quick we're plugged in there's some green there was something going on up here so there it is the anchor powercast m300 now that you've seen everything that comes in the box, I do want to talk about the stand. The 5H threading here is on kind of a ball joint, so it does have some extra movement to go up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start, or whatever that was from my childhood. Nintendo fans out there. Um, yeah, we're not going to use this. Uh, it, it does work quite well because of the half yoke and all the angles you can get out of the microphone, so... I did use it at work today, just playing around, testing it out, and I was able to angle it up and not have to hunch down to get voice, uh, voice, to, to get my voice into the microphone. It was fairly easy. So as you can see, we've got this thing wired up. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but there is a, uh, an RGB, there's an RGB button on the back here, right there. Right there, tell you what now, it's right there in the middle. Yeah, so said RGB button uh, does what you think it would do. You can change colors. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of these RGB mics because folks are sending them. Anchor did send this over for my unbiased review, and I do appreciate them for that because I do have Anchor webcams and Anchor power bricks and Anchor power banks. I have a lot of Anchor stuff around the house. So when they were like, do you want to check this out? I'm like... Honestly, this is kind of a good budget gear company in my experience. So, of course, of course, I'm going to check it out. I saw that it had a half yoke mount, which I think is sexy. And I just, 
I like toys, you know, and this is kind of a, an adult toy. <laughs> Yeah, it's an adult toy. That's uh, that's what it is. It is an adult discovery device. Anyways, I like it. The RGB can be fun. Granted, you know, I I have my mics that I use day in day out. Sometimes a little fun is good. So you've got all kinds of colors. You got blue, purple, red, green, uh, kind of like an orange. Yeah, then you've got this like blinking and i think there was even one where it changes colors all the way around there's just there's a lot of different options here and it's a lot of fun i personally like the purple so i'm going to roll with the flashing purple uh, we've also got a mute switch here on the side of the microphone uh, this knob right here this is your this is your volume control and headphone control controls them both and then you got a mute for when the guy that's doing the mic review is getting on your nerves. You can just push this in. As you can see, not only does the mic come in a Darth Maul mute red around the center ring, uh, it also stopped me from annoying you. So that's uh, that's very welcome. Let's go ahead. Uh, first of all, I do want to mention the half yoke is completely metal. The bottom of the microphone is metal. The top ring here is plastic. And the metal mesh grill is metal because I called it a metal mesh grill. So the knob is, is fairly tight like a tiger. Feels pretty good. Everything about the mic except for that plastic part feels pretty darn good even the uh even the base stand is like aluminum and it's got a really grippy rubber on the bottom that's what she said no complaints here quality wise as far as the build and stuff goes it comes with nice usb cables it's pretty good pretty good uh, as far as the end address part goes you know i love my end address microphones i just do so a USB C half yoke with a machine metal tightening knob, mind you, and this is really good metal on this half yoke. Maybe, maybe we can't go all in and say like this is the USB mic to own, but for someone that wants some quality components with quality setup with a lot of different angles and stuff, I, I think this is pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool microphone. It's one of the best designed USB microphones I've came across in a while. So kind of one of my favorites that I've used here as far as design and aesthetics go. And then, of course, you got latency-free monitoring in the headphone jack in the back. That's so important. Folks that have tried it for $50 or $40 or $30, this is proof. Because right now it's $42.99. It is regularly $49.99. But you know Amazon. That's going to jump back and forth between the two prices they put latency-free monitoring in this shit. Why can't you, other companies? Why can't you? Not to mention, it is coming through nice and clear on these headphones to be revealed at a later date in a headphone review video. But it is pushing them fine. Sounds good. Everything about the headphone amp is definitely good enough. So, latency-free monitoring, it can be done. We've got proof here. We've had proof before. We've done microphones that have it. Let's run this mic through its paces real quick. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right on top of the Anchor Powercast M300, this is what it sounds like. When you're right on top of the Anchor Powercast M300, this is what it sounds like. Now let's do some off-axis rejection. I'm going to turn the microphone 90 degrees so you can hear what it sounds like on the off-axis rejection at 90 degrees. Then we're going to turn the microphone 180 degrees and talk into the rear of it. That's what she said. <laughs> Could you imagine talking into the rear? Just someone bent over in front of you and you're like, hey, Susan, what's what's you want to go out and have coffee? Let's go uh, other 90 degree angle here. Man, the blue and purple, baby. Blue and purple, blue and purple, blue and purple. Good stuff. Listen, uh, I'm a sucker for certain things in a microphone. 
I think for a $40 USB microphone, it sounds very solid enough. And then you add in the half yoke and the latency free monitoring and the fact that it's end address. And that kind of makes, that kind of makes me an instant fan. I'm a sucker. It doesn't have to be perfect audio quality. That's in the eye of the beholder anyway. So is the audio quality perfect? I don't know. Probably not, but it's pretty good. I would use it for a podcast. I would use it for gaming. Gaming, gaming, bro. G gank street, street, streaming, bro. I would use this for streaming without the G on the end, just streaming. I think this is an excellent streamer mic. I mean, I, I don't know how many people are going to have the Anchor Powercast M300, but when they see some of this sexy RGB with a half yoke mount and the fact that it's end address, I think some of those streamers are going to be jealous, man. I think they're going to be jealous because streaming is not about having the best audio quality. Uh, it's 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 a, it's about this RGB shit, man. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. As long as it sounds good enough, that's all that matters to them. It's all that matters to those streamers, bro. So for that matter, the Anchor Powercast M300 is going to get the not too often green light. Green light. Now let me explain something. You go through all my videos, you're going to see random green lights. Back in the past, you used to see yellow and red lights. I just think I got out of control with that shit. I'm not here to tell you whether you should or shouldn't buy it. I'm here to do the video and then you make the decision. I'm giving it the green light because at $42.99, this is just a really cool package. And if they wouldn't have sent this over to me, uh, I may have saw this microphone on Amazon at some point and been like, I'll try that for $42.99. Sweet ass yoke, latency free, end address, some subtle RGB, not overpowering. I think it's cool. Cool mic fun thing to play around with let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below also if you want to buy it through my affiliate link which helps obscure mics which is struggling daily with their credit card debt from buying microphones even though some get sent to me i still buy a lot you can hit that affiliate link and help mr bark and obscure mics out but for now me and the anchor powercast m300 are getting out of here and we're going to go talk into some rear Obscure mics. Peace out.